patterning. Patterning refers to the way words and phrases are organized in a language to create meaning and convey information. It involves the structure, order, and arrangement of words, sentences, and paragraphs. By understanding the patterns in English, learners can improve their comprehension and produce more effective and coherent communication. There are several types of patterning in the English language. 1. Sentence structure. English sentences typically follow a subject-verb-object (SVO) pattern. This means that the subject, the doer of the action, comes before the verb, the action, and the object, the receiver of the action. For example, she, subject, plays, verb, the piano, object. They, subject, ate, verb, lunch, object. 2. Verb tenses. English has various verb tenses that indicate the time of an action. These tenses follow specific patterns. For example, simple present. I walk to school every day. Present continuous. She is studying for her exam. Simple past. They visited their grandparents last weekend. Past continuous. We were watching a movie when the power went out. Future. He will go to the party tomorrow. 3. Word order. English has a fixed word order, and changing it can alter the meaning of a sentence. The most common word order is subject-verb-object, SVO, but there are exceptions. For example, normal, she ate an apple. SVO, question, did she eat an apple? Inverting the subject and auxiliary verb, negative, she did not eat an apple. Inserting the auxiliary verb before the subject. 4. Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs consist of a verb and one or more particles, prepositions or adverbs. They often have idiomatic meanings and follow specific patterns. For example, turn off. Please turn off the lights before leaving. Look after. Can you look after my dog while I'm away? Take up. She decided to take up painting as a hobby. 5. Sentence types. English sentences can be categorized into four types. Declarative, statements, interrogative, questions, imperative, commands, and exclamatory, expressing strong emotions. Each type has its own pattern. For example, declarative, the sun is shining. Interrogative. Is the sun shining? Imperative. Close the door, please. Exclamatory. What a beautiful sunset. Understanding these patterns and practicing their usage can greatly enhance a learner's ability to communicate effectively in English. By recognizing and applying the appropriate patterns, learners can form grammatically correct sentences and convey their intended meaning clearly.